kasi nagkailangan ng arrival. Nagkailangan sa church. Nag-enjoy. Nag-enjoy ng Bernice to you after. My task this afternoon is to charge our graduating, <laughs> graduating students for our teacher training, training workshop. I'd like to have two passages of the scripture this afternoon. First, I'd like to read to you 1 Timothy chapter 4, beginning in verse 12 to 16. In the second passage, still in the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. So first, let us meditate and expound shortly and very quickly. 1 Timothy chapter 4, beginning in verse 12 to 16. The word of God says, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, and in love in spirit and in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by the prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the eldership. Meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them, that your progress may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself, and to the doctrine, continue them, for in, the, in doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Si Pablo wrote this uh, letter to Timothy, and we call this book as the pastoral letter of Paul to Timothy. When I said pastoral letter, because uh, Timothy was the pastor of Ephesus in the city of Ephesus church at the time of this writing. So, you don't see Paul to Timothy, let no one despise your youth. Kasagaran na ito, pilit ka na pastor, baka pa man ko, I'm still young, but I'm teaching the kids and then they're all teaching the adults in the congregation of older churches like 10, 15, 20, 30 years of existence kasagaran ng ilang mga pastors are old and the reason why tumon kaya mga members of church mga old o kini mga old members of the congregation who have been with the church since their childhood until they get, they get old mga kini napunong na sa kaalam ng mga pastor. Therefore, they need also a gray hair pastor. And I said, gray hair pastor, kato na na naiuban. Araw ito ko sila. When someone like you, the youth will stand here in front of the pulpit and do the message of the Word of God. Na dili kayo kayo ka ma-expound sa mga mga Word of God. They will despise you. Outside, in the, in the society, they will despise you. So maybe it was a book of despise. Let's go back to the original language of this word despise in the book of Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. But you may Paul, let no one despise you. This word despise in Greek, it says, kata proneo. Kata proneo. In two words, kata and then proneo. Kata means against. Proneo means to think. So this literally means to think against you. So pag ingo ni Paul, Timothy, let no one despise you. In the translations, let no one think against you. When somebody think against you, he is thinking something bad of you. One of the Bible here refers to thinking of the evil one. When I despise him originally, 
they are thinking against you. When they say against you, something bad in you. So yung si Paul, do not let a young to put in the donate to him and say, mga nga, ay bata pa man ka, when they enjoy si JJ, bata pa kayo, then he mo ng pincel, kaya-kaya man. O, manggali ko mag-api-api na nato na to. Si JJ pa ba, nagkagamay pa ni JJ, the youngest of all the teachers of our day. So, the joy of the rest of the young people, do not let anyone think against you because you are kids in the world of God. I'm here standing before you, charging you something. Before charging you, may I just encourage you, maski bata pa mo, maski dilip pa kayo mo ilukwet, to kids, even the young ones, the children, do not let anyone think against you. By doing so, mo perform ka basi sa konsay na sa. Mana niyan si Paul si Charles. Si First Timothy chapter, Second Timothy chapter four, verse one and two. Niyan si Timothy. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at His appearing and His kingdom. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Again, on Sunday, Paul on charge. When Paul said to Timothy, I charge you. Kung ako, your senior pastor, when I said to you, I charge you. Kamong mga disisiti ka po, when I graduate ka ron. So, may buti pasagot na ko when I say, I charge you. Again, let's go back to the original language. The word charge in Greek word is dia marto mumai. From two words. One, dia, which is an article, and, and marto mumai, which means to witness. Bear witness. So, i-combine mo nga ba? Daya Marto Rumay in English the meaning means to bear witness, to testify earnestly or repeatedly. So ang pag-charge ni Paul of Timothy, wala lang sabi nga, I charge you. Hindi man ako ma-expound kayo ng mga ako, mag-hagin nyo. Hagin mo na sabi saya, I charge you. But in the original language, it's not like that. Ang original language niya, kapag yun ni Paul, I charge you in the presence of God, the presence of witnesses, meaning siya, I want you to be the witnesses. I want you to bear the witnesses of God. So, when I charge you this afternoon, I want you to bear witness on what you have learned and acquired and understand and know for the past five weeks. The whole July, although five days lang siya, but we did it in the entire month. So, kung sa inyong nagpuha, meaning ato ang na-training, I charge you, you are the witnesses of the things you learned from this year. So, the devil means charge for repeatedly. Kalinaw, balik-balik, na ikaw nagdala sa light of the world. Ikaw nagdala sa pulong sa ino. Therefore, ikaw ang na witness. Ikaw ang saksi kung mong sa kamaayo ang ino when you were young. Yung sa kapag-usap sa Diyos, di ka sa wala ka kailan sa Diyos, karoon na kailan ka sa Diyos, yun sa kapag-usap, ikaw ang witness. Manang magahimong ka sa pagtutul sa mga bata because you are the witnesses of the things you have learned in the Bible of which is the word of God. Therefore, in your view, gawa ng karoon, ang atang mga challenges. If you are the witnesses, and you bear the witnesses of God, then you accept the challenge of teaching. Number one, 
your kids, number two, of course, in your level of youth, a level in your youth. And if God permits and allow you to do it, you can stand here in this pocket and do the teaching. Sabi na kung gusto niyo mong pastor. O pastor ako, pero niyo mong magbabay. Kaya ka, this is just the beginning. So yung dana ng ni, ang pagtindog ninyo to sing the verse, to memorize the verses, and to let your participants go with you in the memorization and the singing. That is just the beginning. The more you do it, the more you can be good teacher. If you will not do it, it will just die in the natural death. What is the natural death? Huwag ka matugod. Di mo mong gabi kami mga katunan, o wala na lang. Pwede mo kami nga kung saan mong pagaling ito pag-memorize. Kung saan ka dito na itong disputa, why? Because you will not practice it. Huwag ka magdawat sa challenge na after this, Nani mga bata na tulad. The good thing, Nani mga membro na ito sa City City Family na nangyayon. Pastor, di mga bata na ito sa mga sarikan. Ako'y bahala sa snacks. Tumulukin sila ka sa'yo. Ako ba dahil ito ito? Ako man. Diba? Na ako nito sa bigas. Pastor, ang bata na yung sama man nila ito. So, di prepare sa ito. Not only you, all of you are here, but God prepared the place, the area, the location in which where you will perform the things that you have learned. You need to practice, not only performing for practice purposes, but you are doing the actual work for the Lord. The question is, will you accept these challenges of teaching, not only the kids, but any opportunity na ihakag sa video o ninyo na kamo, manimo, witnesses, you will bear that opinion ang unsay ninyo na katunan na hibalan kung nangasabi ninyo na buhay in order to share first to the children, second to the young youth, and to the adults. Will you accept that challenge? If you accept that, then I request you to stand for my will be pregnant for you. Ilang mo tayo. Ginoong Diyos, salamat na mahal sa kaanindod sa mga pagtulungan na iyong mong dihaka inaagi sa mong mga magtutulog. Dihak sa mga puli. Ang mga kapunan, hindi mga patanon na nagkumitag na sila Musugod mula kao kung matuman sa iyong kasukuman to go and make disciples. Salamat ka Diyos na hindi nila ikakulaw ng ilang kaugalingon. Tumot kay sila, iyong mga ikatagan sa kaalam, lahi sa kaniputan, dubli na kaalam na naata nila. Tumot kay ikaw na asulot sa kasintasan. You are the one who has threatened them. To give them the thoughts in their minds and the words out of their mouth. And you are the one who will protect the children in order for them to come into your feet and to accept you as their Lord and Savior. And even the young people that they wanted to minister to, that as they testify, as they bear witnesses of the things that happen. The process of changing their lives is because of God, the powerful witness that indeed there is a God, there is Jesus who died on the cross, and with our faith to the Lord Jesus Christ, they will receive salvation that is free from you. Kami tani mga kapatid.